Hello, hi. Welcome to our science lesson. Today in our science lesson, we are going to see about the parts of the flower. So let's start with some introduction of flower structure. The flower is the reproductive organ of many plants. Most flowers possess both male and female structures, but some may only possess only one structure. So now we are going to describe some of the parts of the flower and their function. Let's start with sepal. The outer part of the flower is called sepal. Often it is green color and also a leaf-like structure that enclose a developing bud. You can see the picture now. Yeah, as I told you, the sepal is on green color and also it is a leaf-like structure. So next, we move on to the petal. Petals, usually they are brightly colored. For example, they might be in red, yellow or other colors which helps to attract insects. You can see the picture. See, the petal is in bright colors. So next, we move on to the stamen. Stamen is a male part of the flower. It's called as a masculine flowers. It's composed of anthos and filaments. You can see the picture. So this picture is a stamen which includes anther and filament. So next we move on to the anther. Anther is helps to produce a male gametes called pollen. See the picture. So anther is situated above the filament and also you can see some of the pollens. So pollens contains half of the genetic information for the production of the new plants. So next we move on to the filament. So filament helps to support anthers to make it accessible to the insects. You can see the picture. So you can see the filament so which be situated below the anther which helps to support the anther as well. So next we move on to the pistil. Pistil is the female part of the flower. So which consists of stigma, star and ovary. So you can see the picture now. So this is the picture is called pistol which includes stigma, style, ovary and also ovule. So next we move on to the stigma. So it is a sticky portion at the top of the style. So where pollen usually they come and falls in it. So you can see the picture. So the, the upper part of the pistol is called stigma. Next we move on to the style. Style is a narrow and the elongated part of the pistil. It is between the ovary and the stigma and also grows the pollen too. So you can see it is between the stigma and ovary. It is a center part of the pistil which is called style. So next we move on to the ovary. Ovary it contains ovules and after fertilization the ovary usually swells to produce a fruit. So ovary will become as a fruit. You can see the ovary. Yeah, this rounded part is called ovary. It's below the style. Next, we move on to the ovum. So in plants with seeds, the female reproductive part that produces gametes or eggs is called ovum. So you can see the picture. Yeah, ovum is situated inside the ovary. Next, you can see the whole structure of the flower. Mm, as I told you, you can see clearly now. Yeah, you can see the petal which is brightly color. Down, you can see the supple which is green like structure which helps to protect the bud. And also, you can see stigma, style, pollen tube, ovary, ovule. And also, you can see some anther and filament on the sides. So, the stigma, style, pollen tube, ovary, and ovule is considered as a female part of the flower which together is called a scapel. So stigma style pollen tube ovary and ovule is called carpal which is a female part and anther and filament is a male part of the flower it's called a stamen. So hope you had understood the parts of the flower. Thank you. See you in the next class.